The mere fact that he took over a month to respond to me with a two minute video is the funniest bit out of all of this. He made a community post regarding, you know, my response three weeks ago, right? I responded to that in the comment section, right? But I didn't even make a whole big deal of it and even made like a whole community tab about it. I didn't even make a whole big deal of it because as I said, I moved along from this, right? But then recently, three weeks later, he made a video again talking about you know, further elaboration or extras to the community tab. How is that even relevant? So it shows that he is still thinking about this argument till this day. I literally moved on from this. No one has ever seen me brought this up in any sort of way. The fact that he's literally thinking about this, even over a month now, he's still on this topic. Because it shows he's so desperate to get attention, his community post wasn't even getting that much attention, so he even made a video about it now. So... You know what? Now it's my turn to respond. So he uses a very intelligent AI system called ChatGBT, which answers your questions, right? He says that it agrees with him. ChatGBT doesn't actually agree with him because ChatGBT didn't even give him a definite answer. It literally says yes, closing your eyes can potentially lead to disorientation. Potentially is not even a definite answer. It indicates a possibility or likelihood of something happening, but that does not provide definitive or a certain response. So there's literally still room for doubt there. That is not a definite answer. And even for the big cats, it literally said to some extent. The phrase to some extent is used to indicate that something could be true or applicable to a certain degree, but not completely or entirely. So far, King Therapa's whole argument is literally in doubt. There's no definite answer to his argument. So it shows that there's no 100% certainty in his own arguments. Now here's my take on ChatGPT. I asked, does closing your eyes when getting hit via punch automatically means you're disoriented? And look at what it says. Closing your eyes when getting hit, such as a punch, does not automatically mean you're disoriented. However, it can be a natural and instinctive reaction for some people to close their eyes when they anticipate or experience pain or impact. The reflexive response is a protective mechanism to shield your eyes from potential harm. This is exactly what I was talking about in my video. This is what you call common sense king theropod, which seems you lack quite a bit of. And you could even see, I even proved that the lion did in fact anticipate those blows and he made a conscious decision to move and act accordingly. So in summary, closing your eyes when getting hit is a protective reflex. But disorientation is a separate condition that can occur depending on the circumstances and the severity of the impact. So you're basically mixing up two different terms here. One is a medical term and the other is a protective reflex response. Now he wants to talk about this is not a water fight. He was referring to one of my examples, which I said the water made a person's eyes close to illustrate that point, right? But you're so dumb, he somehow misinterpreted that one too. So he said, this is not a water fight. But we're also not fighting a case here <laughs> because how, who would even use filing a lawsuit and somehow mix human related values with animals who don't know any better i mean who does that right animals can't file lawsuits and the funny thing is he deliberately ignored one of my other example which was much more fitting for the scenario and this was involving the boxing match right i will replay it again because apparently he didn't see that possibly i don't know if he's blind but this is a really good example as i showed you notice his eyes are open now freezing this frame here, where a foreign object is approaching the other guy's face area, where the eyes are located, look at the other guy's eyes. Look at how far the other guy's hand is. He clearly hasn't made contact yet, yet still the opposition's eyes are closed. So once again, applying your logic, you're saying this guy is already disoriented before the other guy even makes contact? Again. Your argument doesn't make sense. I clearly illustrated that 
you could see this guy's about to get hit. I pause the right time where he hasn't made contact yet. And you can see that his eyes already close because this is a protective reflex response. The eyes is protecting itself. So again, using his silly logic, he's saying that this guy is already somehow disoriented before the other guy makes contact. This is what I'm saying. This is just a reflex. This has nothing to do with disorientation. So I find that part really funny how he deliberately highlighted one of my examples, but completely ignored the other, which was much more fitting for the actual scenario, which was a fighting example. He didn't give any fighting examples at all, but I did. So he deliberately did not highlight that. Even in his community post, he was still very pressed about this whole 1.5 interaction being a fight. Now, I asked ChatGPT again, what does it think about this interaction, right? I asked, what do you call an interaction with one individual attacking the other while the other doesn't put up much of a fight? Here's what ChatGPT had to say. An interaction where one individual attacks another while the other doesn't put up much of a fight could be described as an assault or a one-sided altercation. In this situation, it's clear that one person is the aggressor while the other is not actively resisting or engaging in combat. This type of situation might also be referred to as a one-sided fight or a unprovoked attack, depending on the specific circumstances. This is exactly why I said in my first upload, this would be more regarded as an assault. And it perfectly describes what is going on here. The tiger is the instigator. He was the aggressor. He was the one who attacked the lion. The lion only responded with one half-hearted boss swipe. One, just one. Barely retaliating at all, right? So this shows that this, is, was, this was a one-sided altercation with the tiger being the aggressor. This is a perfect example. Very perfect. ChatGPT is literally agreeing with me here, as we can clearly see. So regardless, he's literally pressed on a one-sided altercation. I don't get why we're still on this. This interaction is literally 1.5 seconds. It's a very short interaction. I don't know how we are still on this. Now, here's the other thing I would like to cover. He's still hellbent on the fact that, that he said, have not made contact yet. Now, I said this to one of his subscribers, right? I said I was fully aware that he said yet at first. But at the end of the actual claim, right? He and, and the way how he was talking about the strikes actually making contact. And then at the end, then he literally said, that I mentioned in my video, which is misleading people, he said that I mentioned that the tiger did not quite make contact. That is misleading people. I did not say anything about not quite making contact. I said not make contact yet. And he's so hell-bent on that because he was like, that's literally, that's practically the same sentence, right? So here's the funny thing. Let's ask ChatGPT what does it think about this whole dilemma. Now I asked, is not quite make contact and not make contact yet the same? No, here's what ChatGPT had to say. Not quite make contact and not quite make contact yet are similar in meaning, but have subtle differences in emphasis and nuance. While both phrases convey the idea that contact has not been established, not quite make contact implies some level of prior effort or near encounter, whereas not make contact yet is a straightforward statement of absence of contact up until a specific point in time. So just in case you're stupid and you're still like, oh, he didn't actually answer your question. No, I actually asked again. Confirming once again, they are in fact two different statements and are not the same, correct? ChatGBT said, yes, you are correct. Not quite make contact and not make contact yet are indeed two different statements. And they are not the same. So they are in fact not the same King Theropod. You have absolutely no argument here. None. Again, you said that I mentioned in my video that the tiger did not quite make contact. I didn't say anything regarding anything to that. I didn't even say anything close to that. I said not make contact yet. Plus you said it on the second strike, which again, I'm going to count for you because apparently you can't count, right? Because you made yourself extremely stupid here. You didn't actually count the strikes. So where you said the second strike, I was very right when I said that you misinterpreted this whole thing. You said that I mentioned that the tiger did not quite make contact, right, on the second strike. That is completely wrong. I didn't say anything regarding to that. So again, you're still wrong, regardless of how you want to take it. This was the first strike, which you were very specific about, right? That's the first strike. 
So this would be the second strike. Then clearly after that now, this is the third strike. So again, he is still wrong about this and he and notice he actually completely ignores this fact as well. He is still wrong regardless of how you look at it. He is completely and utterly wrong and he is in denial and I find it hilarious. I forgot to mention one more very funny bit and it clearly shows that King Turbot has absolutely no idea what he's doing when he's making these review videos, right? Because he likes to claim that this is a fight, right? When he has no idea what an actual fight and a playful interaction even is, right? If he can't even differentiate what a playful interaction is compared to an actual fight, he has no right to judge what a fight is and is not. If you go to one of his shorts videos, he has a video with a lion cub and a tiger cub having a tug of war. He literally says that the tiger cub was doing better in the fight. How is this a fight? Right? I find that very funny. So again, he wants to talk about me arguing about this is not a fight, about it being an assault and whatnot like that. He is literally calling playful interactions fights. And in this case, this is a tug of war, which is not a fight. This is a playful altercation. Right? So it, it's very funny when you look at these things, right? He has absolutely no idea what he's basing these things off. So this is just like a very funny little skit that I just wanted to show you guys. Because if, legitimately, if you go to his shorts, he literally calls this a fight. He has no idea what he's doing.